first. Probably should get water or something. Hi guys! <laughs> yeah. Probably. Thank you. Hello, hello! Happy Friday! Or like happy quarantine day. Thank you. Yeah. What is it? Day, I don't know. I think it's been a solid month since everything closed down. So cheers to one month of quarantine. <laughs> I've been, um, I don't know, I've been feeling, I feel like every week I experience a different emotion. So this week I can't even put into words what I feel. I'm just kind of like all over the place. I'm trying to maintain it through, through workouts, through fitness. Does anyone else feel like just off this week? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Welcome, my name's Odetta. Um, full body hit happening in a couple of minutes. So what you're gonna need for today's class, a mat, uh, two gliders, or something you can use as a substitute, small towels, paper plates, fuzzy socks, anything you can use to glide on the floor with. And you're also gonna need a chair or a stool, something you can use to prop your foot, out, foot on. So last week, I, I got requests from a couple of people who took this class last week and some of you guys wanted to work on pistol squats again and I also got a request for um, I guess like developing strength in the upper body in order to get into a handstand so we're not actually gonna do handstands today because honestly guys I have Ange here say hello to the world Okay. If you don't know Angela, she is she a yoga instructor at Sweat and Tonic. Uh, we are roommates. So <laughs> she is doing the handstand stuff. Look at that. Now, if you want to learn handstands, you take her classes. If you want to build up the strength using weights and stuff to maybe one day get into a handstand, I don't know, take my new class. Um, so there is something related to that. And there is uh, some pistol squats. Um, what's my name? My name's Odetta. Hi. We have a minute before we get started. I am playing music on my end. I'll turn it up pretty high um, during the rounds and then I will uh, lower the volume so we can chat. So a quick rundown of how this class is gonna work. It is a full body class. We're doing metabolic conditioning, which means you get very, very little rest. You're doing exercise after exercise back to back. Uh, very little rest just to keep the heart rate up, keep the body warm. Um, what we're doing, we have three rounds of six exercises. The exercises will be lower body, upper body, and then cardio. So lower, upper, cardio, and then lower, upper, cardio again. Six whole minutes you're working, then you get a one minute rest in between rounds. Um, in the three rounds, the exercises will stay the same, but I will offer progressions as the rounds go on if you want to take them. If not, you already know the exercises, um, so just perform them for the minute. Um, let me see if you guys have any other questions. I will turn the comments off for the duration of the class just so that you can see what I'm doing on the mat, and then I'll turn them back on after the class finishes if you have any questions. But for right now, we're gonna get started with a warm up. So, everybody, stand up. We're gonna start with those good old jumping jacks. So, let me reset my music, turn this all the way up. Let's get started in three, in two, in one. Let's go. Jumping jacks, one minute. I haven't started yet. There we go. Nice and easy. Like I said, on Fridays, I sleep in super late, so I literally rolled out of bed like 20 minutes ago. So this is just a great way to get the body warm. Nothing crazy. We have a five minute warm up and then we're gonna get into round one. Good, nice and easy here. We have about 30 seconds. I want you guys to hear the music. I want you to be in this with me. <laughs> nice and easy, and just doing her hair as she's doing the jumping jack. <laughs> Multitasking. Good, just a couple more seconds here. Good, for your final 15 seconds of these jumping jacks, I want you to open your hands out, stretching out the chest and the shoulders. Keep the same motion going on with the feet. 
Good. Ten seconds here. Three. For five. For four. For three. Two. One. Open up the hip one at a time. Moving side to side on your mat. Make it a little bit dynamic. Whatever feels good to try to create some space in that hip. Good. We have uh, some squats coming up later on. Got to make sure we're super open. Good. Breathe into it. 30 seconds here. If you can, try to open up your leg even wider. Make it very, very dramatic. If you're like me and you have the looks of a nine-year-old woman because you work out a little bit too much, maybe you'll hear some clipping. A little bit of popping. <laughs> and that, you're that, distracting me a lot. That happens with open hips, too. Ten seconds, guys. Keep it up. I realized I forgot to turn the comments off. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. Go to the back of your mat. We're just going to practice those deadlifts, walking out into a plank, hinging back at the hips, keeping your legs as straight as you can. Start crawling all the way forward. Plank, two shoulder taps, keeping those hips level. And with straight legs, you pull all the way back. Come up into your hinge. Big and tall, lift your hands up. And then repeat. Hinge the butt all the way back, doing the stretch in the hamstrings. Crawl forward. Shoulder tap, and all the way back up. Good, you have 30 seconds here. We do have some deadlifts in today's program too, so I want you guys to really pay attention to this hinge. Before you come down on that plank, you're shifting your butt all the way back, tightening, tightening up those glutes. You have 15 seconds left. Nice and easy. In five, four, three, two, one. I want you to hold that plank. We're going to bring that right leg outside our right hand. Big inhale, open the chest, look up toward the ceiling. As you exhale, bring that right elbow down toward your toes. Big inhale, we open up towards the right side of our mat, stretch your hand up. Exhale, bring your uh, elbow down. Good. So notice how my back leg is straight. I'm trying to sink the hips down a little bit lower. A couple more times on this side before we switch and inhale. In five, four, three, two, one. Step back, plank, left foot comes forward outside the left hand. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Exhaling as the elbow comes down and turning this into a twist, reaching that hand up. Good, guys. Stay with it. We have one more minute left in our warm-up. A couple more seconds here. In five, four, three, two, one. Step back into your plank. We're going to hold this plank for a little bit. A little bit of core activation here. Shoulders right on top of those wrists. I want you to press away from the ground. Let's just kind of push the floor away from you. Start to find space in the upper back. At the same time, let's tuck that tailbone in so you start engaging the core a little bit more. Maybe you start to shake. Now, finally, for our final 30 seconds, I want you to imagine that you're going to drag your hands and your feet closer together. So you're not actually going to go anywhere, but start moving in that direction and now you really feel it shake. I want you to breathe here for another 20 seconds. Try adding even more tension by pulling harder and pushing more away from the ground, keeping that tail tucked in. You have 15 seconds left. Breathe in 10. We're going to get started. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Maybe shake out those wrists, shake out those shoulders, any other stretch that you feel like your body needs right now, take the time. Otherwise, we're going to get started with our first round. Remember, we have six exercises that we're repeating back to back, and then you get a one minute rest in between rounds. Your very first one, we're going to progress towards a pistol squat, but your first exercise, we're going to grab our chair or whatever you're putting your foot on. We're going to place our right leg on the chair, either the top of your foot or your toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. And think about a deadlift. Hinge the butt all the way back. I'm keeping that front knee over the ankle. I pause here for a second, dig down into that heel, come up and squeeze that glute. So we're going Bulgarian split squats. 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. That's your first exercise. You ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. We're working on that single leg strength. 
Now, this is not about speed. This is about super slow control movements. I want you to develop that strength in a single leg. So think about that left glute, the left hamstring. Really think about all the way back like you're trying to do a deadlift. So let's push down into the ground. We have about 10 seconds before we switch legs. You're going to get an opportunity to do this again, so no worries. In five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Left leg goes back 30 seconds. Slow. Notice if your knee is popping past your toes, can we shift the butt a little further back to keep that alignment? I want you to feel your glutes and your hamstring, especially at the bottom. Good. Nice and easy. In about 10 seconds, we're going to find our plank on our mat. We got some good old push ups hitting upper body here. In five, four, three, two, one. Your knees can be on the ground or not. Push ups, bringing the elbows at about 45 degrees. In three, two, one. Let's go. Inhale, exhale, push. So again, it's not about speed, it's not about reps. I don't care if you get one push-up in, I don't care if you get a hundred. We're focusing on building up that strength. So we're going to go super slow, especially on the way down. Exhale as you push, you have 30 seconds. Maybe you do a couple on your toes, and then you come down on your knees. We have cardio coming up in about 20 seconds. We're starting to slow down, but I need you to get in a couple more reps here. You have 10 seconds before we hit some cardio. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. This is about speed. Drop, drop. Hinging your butt all the way back. Good. Remember, we're only doing each exercise for one minute. So I need you to go as hard as you can for that minute. That's what metabolic conditioning is all about. Good, 30 seconds if you can, start to pick it up. Notice if you're hinging over your legs, you keep that chest open, look forward, and really sit back into those heels. Good, we have three minutes left in this round, and then you get a one minute rest before we move on. You have 10 seconds left. Stay with it. You're going to need your glider in five, four, three, two, and one. Grab one glider underneath your right foot. Keeping that back leg as straight as you can. We're sinking all the way down. Finding our lunge again, knee to right over the ankle. Push down into that heel. You come all the way back up. So similar to the split squat that we just did with the chair, because the majority of your weight should be on your left leg. I'm keeping my right leg super light. Good, 10 seconds before we switch. Hands the butt backwards, drive it forward and squeeze. In five, we switch. Four, three, two, one. Switch, back leg straight, hinge your back. Slow. Dig down through that front heel, squeeze your butt at the top. Almost there, guys. Woo! 15 seconds. You still only got one. Don't worry. In 10 seconds, we're going to hit the upper body again. This is for you guys who requested that handstand strength. We're going to work the shoulders in five, four, three, two, one. Pike push ups. Your fingers point towards each other, bring them up, mat width distance. So, wider than your shoulders. You're going to look at your toes, walk as close toward your hands as you can, keeping your chin tucked in, bend at the elbows, push back up. The majority of your weight should be on your hands. It's a very weird movement. So it's okay if it feels awkward for round one, because you are going to get an opportunity to try this again. Inhales, you bend, exhales, you push. Keep your chin tucked in. Look at your toes the whole time. You have about 30 seconds left. You're trying to bring the top of your head to touch the mat. Totally okay if you can't go that low, if you can't get there today. 
breathe into it. We have about 10 seconds before we hit cardio again. And then you rest in five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your gliders again. We're going glider, mountain climbers for one straight minute. In three, two, one, let's go. Run, 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 run. You can do this without the gliders. Regular mountain climbers. I just like the gliders because this forces me to keep all my weight on my hands. Woo. Pick it up, pick it up. We have about 30 seconds left. You get a rest after this. So let's try to increase that pace. Oh yeah. Hold on to it, push away from the floor. Think about 15 seconds left. Tighten up that core. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a rest. And drip it in sweat. Round one. You have one minute to rest here. We're gonna repeat that whole circuit two more times. Now remember, I will offer progressions for some of the exercises. If you wanna take it, cool. If you don't wanna take it, you already know the exercises, we just did them. So we are going back into those Bulgarian split squats. Nothing has changed, those are staying the same. We're gonna slow it back down. We have about 15 seconds left to grab a sip of water, whatever you need, before we do it again. We ready? Bulgarian split squats, right leg comes on the chair. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Slow. Pause. Drive up and squeeze that left glute. Good. So if you are working up to a pistol squat, very first thing you need to do before you even try a pistol squat is develop your single leg strength. So this is a great exercise to do it. Breathe 10 seconds before we switch. In five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Three, two, one. Let's go. Inhale as you lunge. Exhale as you lunge up. Halfway, 15 seconds. We're going to push ups. We're adding on to those push ups in five, four, three, two, one. This time when you push up, I want you to go into a side plank. So one push up, go into a side plank, inhale, bring it back, push up. Let's go, one minute. Alternating sides. Maybe you slow it down, maybe you drop your knees, whatever. This is your workout. So make it fun for you. 30 seconds. Notice if you're letting your belly drop or your hips drop in that plank. Can we scoop up that belly a little bit more before we push down? In 15 seconds, we got those drop squats. We're adding on to making a little bit more crowded in. In five. Four, three, two, one. Option one, you stay with those drop squats you did. Option two, you jump forward and back. Let's go, one minute, your choice, your variation. Still sitting back into the heels, still looking forward, keeping that chest open. This variation, I find burns the quads a little bit more. Wherever you are, you have 30 seconds left. Whichever variation you chose. Breathe. We're going back into our single leg work in just a couple seconds, different from the first round. You have 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, we pause. Five, four, three, two, one. All your weights on your left leg. Keep your hips level, hinge back at the hips. Find your deadlift, extend your hands. Dig down through that leg, bring it all the way up. Let's go, 30 seconds per side. Slow, inhale, 
Exhale, big down, squeeze that left glute. Breathe. Use this opportunity to slow down that breath again. In about 15 seconds, we switch legs. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Keep your core tight here. Notice if you're starting to round through the upper back. You want to keep the spine as neutral as you can. Keep that core tight. Keep those hips level. Whew. We're moving on to those shoulder push-ups in about 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Your second opportunity to play around with it. Hands face each other, open it out. Three, two, one, tuck your chin in, and go. Shift your weight into your hands. I'm on my tippy toes, I'm super, super light on my feet. Whew. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever slept this much during one of my lives before. Breathe, guys, in 30 seconds. We got cardio. And then our final round. Stay with me. Keep pushing. 15 seconds. What's coming up? In 10, you got those mountain climbers. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Final minute, and then you rest. Let's go. Gliders or not. Whatever it is, wherever you are, start to pick up that pace. If you can, go a little bit faster. We have about 30 seconds left. Oh my gosh, I'm dripping. Keep it up, keep it up. Your rest is coming up in 15. Go a little bit fast. You got it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, take a rest. How you feeling, Ange? Oh, dead. She dead. Look at this. This is really gross. Take a minute. Grab some water. We have one round left. I'm gonna be offering you all of the progressions. While you're resting, I'm gonna show you the first exercise. Now, if Bulgarian split squats are already challenging for you, stick with it. If you wanna try a pistol squat, we're not gonna do the whole one, but we're only gonna focus on going down on the eccentric. So what I want you to do, continue resting. You can either put your leg out behind you or in front of you, hinging the butt back just like we did in the first split squat. Once you go super, super slow on the way down, as slow as you can, Come all the way down, pick yourself up, and do it again. So we're only focusing on the way down. Again, if your leg is behind you, you can do the same thing. Slow on the way down, tap your knee, bring it back up. Lots of options, but focus on going super slow on the way down, okay? This is our final round. Six minutes, I have a finisher for you at the end. Let's get started. In three, two, one. We're on that left leg, your choice. Hinging the butt back. That knee stays somewhat above the ankle all the way down. Pick it up. Now, if you can pull, push yourself back up, by all means, do it. I'm not there yet. Yeah, one side is usually harder than the other. Let's try to get in two more reps on this leg before we switch sides. As slow as you can go. Even slower, even slower. One more, before we switch legs. And switch. This is my weaker side, so it's gonna look weird. Super slow. And at the same time, make sure that knee isn't doing anything funky, it's not moving in or out, we're trying to keep it pretty much in line. If you're doing that other variation, you can behind you, same thing. Try to get in 
Two or three more. Woo. We're going into those push ups in about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You can either go to those regular push ups or get your gliders. One push up, one bear crunch. Three, two, one. Let's go. Your choice. You can either focus only on the push up. You can get a little bit of core work in there too by driving your knees in. Slow it down if you have to. Take the rest if you want to. You need to. Whatever. Thirty seconds. Weight is light on those toes. Oh my goodness. Can we get in just a couple more, guys? We got cardio coming up in about 15 seconds. In 10. Oh my gosh. I'm tasting my sweat. Five, four, three, two, one. Options drop squats or we go into those frog jumps. Three, two, one. Let's go. In about 30 seconds, we'll offer a progression if you want to take it. If not, I want you to stay right here. Find a steady pace, something you can, you can maintain for one whole minute. You don't have to jump super high. You don't have to go too far forward or back. For those of you who want to take the progression, you're going to add in a burpee after every two jump squats. All right, so come forward, burpee all the way down, jump back, jump forward, burpee. We have 30 seconds. Oh, shit. <laughs> Breathe into it. Quads are burning. We're sweating. We have about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Left leg goes down. Single leg deadlift. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it all the way up. It's so hard to go into strength exercises right after cardio. But I want you to focus on slowing things down. 15 seconds before we switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Let's go. This is all going to help you over time get that pencil squat. I see the leg strength. This is a good sweat. We're going to squeeze up about 15 seconds. We're going to hit those shoulders. In five, four, three, two, one. Options. You stay with the shoulder push ups on your mat in the place position, or you can hold your feet up on the chair. Walk as close as you can so you're almost upside down and then go. This is harder. Choose your variation and go for it. Wherever you are, elbows flare out, keeping your shoulders down away from your ears. Keep going. Angela is in a straight handstand. Look at that. <laughs> you guys have about 20 seconds left, handstand or otherwise. So keep up what you're doing. And that's my cue. <laughs> Good work. Enjoy the lobby. She's doing another workout after this. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're almost done. We got those mountain climbers left. Option one, mountain climbers. Option two, your pipe. Bring your butt all the way up, just like we were just doing. Three, two, one. One minute left. Inhale. Exhale. Pipe, otherwise, climb it out. If you're doing the pipe, our goal is to try to push all of our weight on our hands and get as far forward as you can until you're almost upside down. You're not only strengthening your shoulders, where you're hitting that core. 
breathe. We've got 30 seconds left. You're not done yet because we got a core finisher laying down on our mat in about 10 seconds. So let's get in a couple more reps. Sweat it out for five, four, three, two, one. Flip around on your back. Sit up. Punch one, two. Bring it back. Let's go. Punch one, two. Bring it back. Sit up. Three minute core finisher. And then we're done. Let's go, guys. Pick it up. Oh, man. Let's go. 30 seconds. Try not to round through that upper back. Exhale every time you punch. Yell, scream, ha ha, whatever you gotta do. 15 seconds. Two more exercises left. You're almost there. I need you to finish with me. So I'm back up now. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, you pick it up. Move the chest. Three, two, one. Let's go. Alternating sides. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can slow it down if you need. Chest stays open. I'm looking up toward the ceiling. Breathe 30 seconds. As you're approaching your final minute, keep going. Finish strong. 15 seconds. We're going into one minute of bicycle crunches to finish it off. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One minute left. Push it. Oh my gosh. Set that belly in. Keep your low back pressed on the ground. Slow or fast. Your choice, but we have 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's go. Exhale every time you twist. Come on. Final 15 seconds. Breathe through that burn for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knees in. Head down. Breathe. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale out the mouth. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale out the mouth. Good. One more time, just like this, inhale. Exhale. Good, flip around on your stomach. Again, slowing down that breathing. Inhale, extend the arms. Pull the shoulders down and back, stretch out the core. Exhale, bring it back down. Two more times, inhale. Lengthen, look up toward the ceiling. Exhale all the way down. One more time, just like this. I'm gonna turn the comments back on. Good, exhale. This time I want you to tuck your toes underneath and send your hips all the way back, finding your down dog. Pedal out the feet here. Press away from the floor, find length in the spine. And slow down that breathing for five. Four, three, two, one. Come all the way down. Find a comfortable seated position. Just a couple shoulder rolls. If you're feeling tension in your neck and your shoulders, next time you do any sort of push-up or those pike push-ups you're doing, notice if your ears are, or your shoulders are hunched up like this. Usually when we do push-ups sometimes, we go like this and it causes a lot of tension in the neck. Shake it out. Any other stretches you guys wanna do, uh, take the time. I think that was like the sweatiest Instagram live I've ever done. Do you guys wanna see my mat right now? It's disgusting, but it's awesome. Check it out. I am an artist. Um, it's like those blob paintings where therapists are like, what do you see? I want you guys to look at this and whatever you see, I don't know, it should say something about your personality. I don't exactly know all the details, but um, yeah, good sweat sesh. Same time, 
same place next week. Always open for um, requests. So again, uh, the pistol squats and the shoulder work were requested from last week. So if you wanna continue working on that, let me know. If there's something else you wanna work on, let me know. Um, my Instagram handle is my first name and last name. So it's just Odetta Casa. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to shoot me a DM. Um, and yeah, happy Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and hope to see you soon. Again, this was Full Body Hit. My name's Odetta. Have a wonderful Friday.